So now Netflix is not letting cancel culture influence its content. The streaming giant issued a memo at the end of last week telling employees that who are offended by the platform's content that you're free to leave. Uh, Jimmy Fallon, Fox Radio here, and many other places. Hello, hey, Jimmy. Hey, hey, hey. So, I mean, is this the death? Is, is this the death of cancel culture? How do you see it? I genuinely think it is for two reasons. One, this is Netflix reading the tea leaves, although in the case of streamers, it might be the marijuana leaves. But the point is, they know there is a massive sea change underway right now, and that society has overwhelmingly rejected woke, pandering content. They don't want it. If you notice, nobody applauded Disney when they tried to make the kids watch Peter Pan sexual, and nobody's coming around now for any of the Netflix grievance programming. Look at the subscriber drop. Uh, look at the subscriber drop, number one. Number two, they also know it's just impossible to run a company this way. Yeah. You know, when you're totally, you know, beholden to the grievance movement which in, within your company, which is always a tyranny of the minority, and they realize that they're spending a lot more time addressing internal political grievance than they are focusing on content. So they're right. And when they say, like, oh, if this isn't the content for you, one note I would give everybody who is offended by Dave Chappelle or any Netflix content, yo, it is on demand. In order for you to be offended by this, you have to go out and <laughs> demand to be offended. It's not just there. You're not just randomly coming across it. You're saying, I demand this. And then it comes out and they're the bad guy. You demanded it. I thought of that, too, that they wouldn't do it if it wasn't about the bottom line. Yeah. That there's something about the financial angle, mm -hmm. which I think should, for people who are sick of woke culture nonsense, mm -hmm. th that might be the best signal, the price signal. Mm -hmm. People are done with it. And, and again, we saw the stock price plummet. We saw yeah. the subscriptions plummet. Well, they're going to have to get rid of a lot of people anyway. Yeah, they're going to have to cut back. That's coming, number one. Number two, it's just a general thing. We're sick of people being offended. We want to be happy. We were locked up for two years. You're never going to be at a party and go, gosh, I can't wait till the guy who gets offended at everything shows up. <laughs> and the reason why also <laughs> is because that guy doesn't get invited to parties. <laughs> okay, we're done with these people. You wonder if the Disney decision in Florida was the canary yes. in the coal mine that now reverses a lot of this corporate world culture here. Uh, Netflix sent out a memo, depending on your role, you may need to work on titles you perceive to be harmful. Mm -hmm. If you'd find it hard to support our content breadth, Netflix may not be the best place for you. Mm -hmm. To which Elon Musk said, the woke mind versus virus is making Netflix unwatchable. Mm -hmm. Can they please just make sci-fi fantasy, at least mostly, about <laughs> sci-fi fantasy? <laughs> no, it's totally true. And by the way, no one is having more fun than Elon Musk right, right. now. He's just having the greatest time. But he gets it. You know what they say, like, read the room? The room has spoken, man. We're done being angry. There is a sea change in society for the first time ever. If you look at a show like Gutfeld's show, surging in the ratings, yeah. society has spoken. They want to be on the fun side. They don't want to be on the we're angry, we're having a protest side. It's I mean, exhausting. It drives liberals crazy when conservatives have fun. Oh, oh they, they, more like they're that. losing their minds. That's why they all keep hey, protesting. Hey, just real quickly, Goldman Sachs is going to allow senior staff to have unlimited vacation. Mm -hmm. Turns out, though, when you do that for people that work at that companies like that at that level they don't even take all that vacation no because they feel like a competitive pressure to not be off because other people stay at work i mean if people start to honor this at goldman it's devastating news for cocaine dealers let's have some real talk here oh we God. know what goes on downtown <laughs> uh but it's definitely Wait, groundbreaking. what goes on downtown <laughs> I don't oh, know. Kaiser, you're better off not I knowing know. but uh no it's it's true there is a burnout factor here that there is a law of diminishing returns okay the brain is like the arm you know there's a reason major league pitchers have pitch counts because if you use the muscle too much, you start throwing the ball like Fauci at a Nats game. Do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> you, downtown. Let's get... <laughs> downtown. I might have been there already. Always good to see you, Jimmy. Have a great week. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy.